Hey man. Hey man, hold up. <laughs> hold up, bro. Let's slow down a minute. Right? Alright, let's slow down for a quick millisecond. Alright? So Last of Us 2. Uh game came out what? Yesterday. Last of Us 2 came out yesterday. And people are mad. Let me tell you something. Listen. I feel like Last of Us 2 takes a lot of chances. That's one thing for sure I can say. That this game takes a lot of chances. Way more chances than the original game has ever had. I mean, listen. I don't, I don't remember Last of Us 1 taking so many risky chances, bro. I really don't. And don't get me wrong, Last of Us 1 was dark, but this game right here, it's like, it's dark in so many ways, but it takes a lot of risky chances. I mean, they like they, like they, they got, they involved the whole LGBTQ, LGBTQ uh, WXY, and Z community, uh, the social, you know, SJWs and all that, bro. Like, they added so much stuff that wasn't even an original game, man. Oh, they took so many risks, bro. I saw that, I saw the Abby and uh, Owen scene, bro. I mean, hey, to me, I think Abby is just a, to me, I look at Abby as just a buff, buff, steroid-ass chick. I don't look at her as a freaking transgender chick at all, dog. I really don't. I really don't, bro. I look at her as her just being a buff, a chick that loves to work out, you know what I'm saying? You know, she was in the army. I have a little story in my mind that, you know, Abby, like, she was like, I mean, like, she used to... You like you know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? She used to work out. You know what I'm saying? She be trying to get them, them guns. You feel me? She be trying to get that six pack. You feel me? Like you, like, bro. That's how I look at Abby. I don't look at Abby. Ain't listen. That's how I picture Abby. You just gotta use your imagination, bro. If you have a problem with Abby being a transgender, bro, just use your imagination. Just look at her and be like, yo, she's just a buff ass. She like this stuff going to the gym. Cause that's how. That's what I originally thought when I first seen The Last of Us Two and she was in the game. I'm thinking like, well, everybody thought she was Ellie's mom, and so did I for a little bit. But Ellie ain't that Ellie. She's strong. Don't get it twisted. And she got a little muscular to him, but she ain't like she ain't no Abby. But um, yeah, I always, yeah, I'm thinking like, yo, she's just a chick that loves going to the gym. That's how I view it. But um, yeah, that's how I look at the last of us too. It just takes a lot of chances that Last of Us 1 didn't take. So now I'm about to watch this guy right here. Uh, this guy was pretty much praying on the Last of Us 2's downfall, pretty much. His name is Manny X. And uh, he's going to be talking about the the ratings for um, Last of Us 2. And, uh, yeah, I'm curious what he has to say about it. He's probably going to be he, I know he, he was. It seems like he was just praying on this game's downfall, bro. Every video this guy posts is is just him hating the absolute dog crap out of this game, dog. So I'm about to hear what he has to say about it, man. And, uh, let's see. This is a broken. Let the slaughter the, the defense. Oh yeah, user score three point three out of. This is a broken. What? Let the slaughter begin, ladies and gentlemen. Three point three out of ten user score. Yep. I haven't seen a drop. Like that since yesterday when Abby Zilla took it from behind from Neil Tranny Fuckman Cuckman himself. <laughs> that sexy, if we can just talk about it again, was just horrific. In fact, I think I woke up this Yo! morning. Yo! Oh my gosh, bro. Lesbian. Look at this and dude. For that reason, me, Mannix, I'm gonna rate the game. Yo, he two did it. Out of ten. It has been truly glorious to watch these morons lose all credibility. Within a mid 24 hey, hours. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I have a love and hate relationship with last episode. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Soy boy who's probably masturbating to an image of himself. I have a strong love and hate relationship with this game. Listen, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Gameplay wise, this game is freaking great. Graphics looks beautiful. Story, I have mixed feelings about this damn story. Very mixed feelings, man. But and I feel like I said before, this game takes way too much. Should not be risk. a director of any game, any movie, anywhere. And before we start this video, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed. I yo, shout yo, out to my man. I gotta give respect. Shout out to my man, Manny X, bro. He over here balling. I think I checked out his channel like yesterday. Boy was at seven point nine five k. 
Now, boy, at almost at 9K. Bro, yo. Get your money, man. Catch that duppy. Catch that duppy. Catch that duppy. I got to salute. I got to salute you, Manny I don't know how you're going to take the stuff I'm, I'm saying in this video. But I know you're probably going to see this video. But, yo, I salute you, dog. I salute you. I salute your hustle. I really do. I salute your hustle, bro. Respect. So that call right Kage. Respect. Days. That is absolutely insane, and if you haven't already, this is the most underrated channel on the platform. And if you don't ring my notification bell, you will have nightmares of a roided up Abby Zilla chasing you with a golf club while screaming, fuck me, and I've even drawing, had people man. offer to buy me The Last of Us 2 so I can stream it for the inevitable comedy gold that would ensue. And my response to that would be, as much as I appreciate the offer, I would much rather watch a dog lick its balls for 16 hours in 12 minutes that is go disgusting. anywhere near that absolute abomination because it has to be known that this is not a sequel to the last of us one this is just a showcase on Druckmann's psychosexual fantasies and if you have to trick people into buying your game via false advertising you have failed as a studio people like me warn them and they ignore i'm gonna keep us. it a being with you right so now we have to laugh at all the now, that are gonna buy I'm the game right now Just click all this video because i'm gonna spoil something you got five seconds Five, four, three, and two, and one, zero. Now, with Joel's death, I'm going to be real honest with you. When Joel died, it was probably one of the most, yo, they dirtiest deaths I've ever seen in any video game. The way they made Joel get out was so messed up and stupid. That's probably one of the most stupidest deaths I ever seen in any video game. They did Joel so dirty in this game. It's not even funny. It's not even funny how dirty how dirty it is. But... <sighs> they did him so dirty, yo. They really did, but. Let's keep going. And I don't want to hear any of these morons complain online after buying the game. We warned them for months and they still finance the problem. No matter how hard Naughty Dog and Cuckman try and silence the user reviews, they're going to have to work overtime to try and censor oh, this, this one. But unfortunately for them, the cat's out of the bag. The Last of Us 2 wallows in misery, degeneracy, nihilism, and sadism. And the most important takeaway from all of these reviews is that people are leaving and they are done with Naughty Dog. This game has destroyed what little respect was left of the media's credibility. All the journalists and all the blue check marks who convinced all the idiots that we all must be bigots because we simply just didn't like the story. But now when the players who are uh, yeah. all of your audience for the game didn't like your final product, you have failed. And this is what you get when you pander to one group and shit on the true fans of the franchise. My final message would be to never, ever trust reviewers who got an early copy. That is never a good idea. Always listen to YouTubers who are in the pockets of these listen, big companies. I'm not, I don't shoot YouTubers should be more trusted nothing. than Troy I write no game, no anime, no nothing. I will week. speak the if truth. And I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with you. Or any of these I really do. And I think it's me. If too many conflicts of interest, then I have an ultra oh, beachfront apartment in Malibu, California that I want you to buy. Yes, just you. All you have to do is give me $15 million in my PayPal. And once so you what do I, that... I, what I that house is yours, I, I promise. Would. Just give me the same courtesy you, that you give Alana Pierce and the rest of those yeah. shills. Anyway, The Last of Us 2 is a total disaster. And I really do hope Sony steps in and makes a change at Naughty Dog. Druckmann has I'm lost I'm total that video control now. I, I and really has nothing but yes men around him. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching Mannix out. Yo, you got my like, bro. Appreciate the entertainment because that was pretty funny. Um, I don't agree with you. I, I, I'm okay. I'm gonna keep it being with you, Manix. I don't agree with anything that you're saying. I really don't. But, but actually, nah. I want to say that I, some stuff I agree with you with. But I look at Last of Us too. I I think this it's a mixed game. I have very mixed emotions emotions about this game. I don't like how they killed off Joel. I don't really understand. Listen, I I only really understand how they how you're in a zombie apocaly apocalyptic world. And there's a trans. How do they? How do you do that? Cause think about it. Everybody is dead. Everybody's dead in The Last of Us Two, right? 
How in the actual freak is a transgender in this game? Uh, that doesn't make no sense to me. How? I mean, how would you have the tools to do that in this game? Like I said, I, you, I look at Abby as a chick who goes to the gym a lot. I don't even look at her as a transgender because I like, it's stupid. It's really stupid. So now I look at Abby as a girl who likes to work out a lot. I don't even look at her as a tranny. I don't. I really don't. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of there was a lot of unnecessary calls for this game as well. So um, I don't know. I'm not hopping on the Last of Us Two bandwagon. I'm, trust me, I'm not. I was supporting this game. You can go. You can go back and watch my other videos and how I was rooting for this game to win. Rooting for this game to win, and uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know at all, but. You know, anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. You know, stay, stay, stay fresh. And, uh, yeah. Buzzy. Uh, so, i probably upload, like, three, three, it's going to be three last of us two uploads today. Because I really want to know what everybody has to say about it. I really want to hear everybody's thoughts and opinion on everything. So, and, uh, yeah, keep a lookout for those videos coming out today. And, uh, yeah. Buzzy.